so Nocaro is a for-profit company that designs, contract manufactures, markets, and cooperatively distributes power to 1.3 billion people who don't have electricity. One example is this mobile phone charger. We've heard a lot about mobile technologies today, but this is one example and I'll reference that later. All of our products are designed specifically for the developing world. One such example is this solar light bulb that's up here. All of our products improve security, education opportunities, and provide income generation for their owners. We provide power to the powerless, 20% of the world's population. My best guess is there's about 300 people here, maybe more, I'm not sure, but if it was 300 people, maybe this section of the room, 60 of you, would be living without electricity. Our first category of products is solar lamps. We manufacture a variety of different types of solar lamps, but these are provided for the 1.3 billion without electricity. 77 billion liters of kerosene is burned every year in kerosene lamps. Each lamp burns 40 liters per year. The typical price is about $1 per liter. So we're talking about an annual run cost of a kerosene lamp, which is dirty, dangerous, unhealthy, and all, with all kinds of other complications that cost its individual, its user, $40. Enter this solar light. Okay. You know, it sells for 599 rupees in India. It sells for 500 goods in Haiti. It sells for 21 Fijian dollars. On average, this is about 10 to 12 dollars per, um, 10 to 12 US dollars per, per bulb. The point is, the target market can afford these products if they're designed properly and distributed efficiently. Because what we're doing is we're diverting very expensive practice of burning kerosene, the funds that that costs, towards new alternatives. As a matter of fact, at these prices that I just referenced, the individual can actually pay for probably about three or maybe even four lights throughout the year. So solar lights is kind of like the genesis of no caro. As a matter of fact, no caro stands for no kerosene because caro is the abbreviation for the word kerosene. The second category is just power panels in general. I told you a second ago that this is a mobile phone charger. Okay. The phone usage has exploded throughout the developing world. It's pretty hard to imagine, but of those 1.3 billion people, 700 million of them have mobile phones. I've been in all parts of the world, and it's unbelievable out of traditional dress or whatever to see a mobile phone come out of somebody's pocket. And it really sets you back. It's, wow, look at, look at this, mass adoption, right? Behavioral change. Well, there's no behavior to change in that case. There was the behavior you're trying to change was, was, was the difficulty of communicating. So if these individuals live without electricity, how are they charging their mobile phones? The cost is about 25 cents to 50 cents when they go to a market town where there's electricity or somebody with a diesel generator and they hand over their phone or they hand over the battery and they get charged. We estimate that this is about $40 per year in charging costs for each mobile phone. Our Ray cell accepts a wide variety of batteries. Pretty much any mobile phone battery just snaps right in the back here. All right, and it goes out and it can charge two to three phones per day. So the break even is an interesting calculation. After it goes through the full distribution process that I'll talk about in a minute, it's about $24 at full retail. So in three weeks, the individual who owns this product, if they're providing the services to their 
uh, to, to people in their community, they're able to pay for this in three weeks, and after that, it's an, it's an income generator. In the first two years, we've sold 400,000 solar products to 120 countries for $3 million in revenues. The investment was $60,000. So how do we accomplish that? I mean, that's quite, quite that's something, right? So we have some proven capabilities, and I just want to share a little bit of insight of how NoCaro works and how we operate. These are the main tasks, and I'm going to delve into them uh, in detail. But we did start in June 2010 with the goal of selling to anyone, anywhere. Pretty audacious, right? Pretty entrepreneurial, <laughs> not knowing what you can't do. But we focused on the front end of the supply chain. We focused on you know, design, interfacing with contract manufacturers in China, quality control, manufacturing, and global logistics. I really enjoy product design. It's, it's kind of my background as a mechanical engineer. And I think that one of the things that's most important that comes out of product design is the importance of being collaborative and resourceful. So this is one of the things that you see about NoCaro is that we're collaborative and we're resourceful. Some have called us a learning machine. I think that in general when we're presented with a problem, we are quick to respond, clever and frugal. As shown on the design slide here, we have several products ranging from the power panels to um, solar lights and uh, you know, there's just an ever-evolving mix, but this is a lot of products for somebody, for a company that's only two years old. So we do focus on design in-house, we prototype in-house, we test products in-house, and then we are very uh, integrated with collaborating with the voice of the manufacturer by spending time in the, in the contract manufacturing environment and making sure that we can deliver products that meet the needs of our customers. Another thing that's very important at this step is to talk about the voice of the customer. We go in the field, we spend time with the customer, and we make sure that we feed back their needs into either future products or revisions to our current products. I personally have traveled 130,000 miles last year for this project. I've been in Pakistan, Haiti, Kenya, Rwanda, um, Mexico five times. I mean, you know, it's, plus all the, the work in China, it's, it's very important to go and see these places because you can't develop these things in a bubble. Our manufacturing always leverages the best of what a contract manufacturer has to offer and the best of what we have to offer. Parked somewhere in the middle of that is a quality control agency that are my uh, colleagues of nine years. I've been to China 35 times doing this work. My team is very talented and, and, um, and we, we deliver products that meet the needs of our target market and guarantee that they will have a high adoption rate and high satisfaction. One of the things that we invested in heavily right from the beginning was product, uh, excuse me, press releases. Um, from the marketing side, we were very fortunate to have been adopted by the international press. I think that they're our biggest benef uh, benefactor, right? We have received a lot of press starting with CNN, when I was on for six minutes, six days after launching, that went international. And moving through to today, we're, we're still actively pushing our noteworthy and newsworthy stories out to the press and getting organic uh, uh, viewers on our website. And, and um, it's been a big part of how we've built this company on such a small investment. Speaking about logistics, I mentioned that we've sold to 120 countries. It just shows that we're resourceful and that we work hard because this is not easy. It's something that has taken a lot of work, but we believe that we have to put these products into the hands of people to get mass adoption. So that's what we do. And let me show this a little bit in an illustration of a, of a supply chain. The players here are Nocaro, a factory, QC logistics contracted um, service, uh, commercial distributors, and customers. 
I think the most important takeaway here is to, to note that this is Nocera 1.0, right? This is the way it is today. And I'm going to preview what I'm going to be telling you about in a minute in that uh, we, um, we, we have a, a 50, we'd get a 50% deposit and we have a 55 day production lead time. What this looks like for our distributor retailer partners is that we expect them to make money. That's one of the biggest problems is that they need to make a higher margin. So we try to, to encourage our distributor partners to operate on a 50% margin. What's most impressive about our financials here is that we've already sold 367,000 bulbs. We've done so basically on a, on a, uh, on a break even, and we're on a forecast of selling 2.6 million bulbs by the end of fiscal year 2015. As mentioned in Nocaro 1.0, we've basically been fulfilling and responding to inbound inquiries. But in Nocaro 2.0, we're going to reach further into the ecosystem and work with a select number of high value, high potential distributors to work uh, directly with them to solve their needs. Now, what does this look like? We're probably going to order, um, provide order financing to increase in country, um, to increase in, in country level, uh, inventory levels, provide marketing materials and sales tools and then a bunch of other things that we're working on. We're gonna focus most likely on Haiti, India, and Kenya, although we're still refining that strategy right now. The cumulative growth as projected on the left side is our existing, and on the right is our forecasted up to 2.6. The reason why we're doing this 2.0 transition is to accelerate to get up to 3.2 million. As mentioned, in the first two years, we've sold 400,000 solar products. But that's not good enough. And what we're here is we're at an inflection point to, um, to, to transfer what we've known into the next round of, of development for Nocaro. So in closing, I want to mention that um, you know, Nocaro products bring power to the powerless. Children can study with our book light. Entrepreneurs can sell products after dark after the sun sets. Powerless can have charged mobile phones to increase security and provide financial opportunities. Earlier I mentioned that that $40 was the running cost of a lamp. If you look at our numbers, we've already replaced $12 million of, of in-country expense that was spent on kerosene has now been freed up to do educational activities, to provide school fees, health care, and whatnot. So what we're here looking for is partners that we can um, join and join with and um, monitor what we're doing and watch us as we go through this Nocaro 2.0 transition. All of this is going to take money to roll out on a large basis. And so I welcome you to contact me if you'd like to participate with that. Uh, thank you to the GSBI and thank you for, for this opportunity. And um, thank you for your time.